Good morning, my crafty friends. This is Lori, Girl on the Ridge. I just wanted to have a quick cup of coffee with you and chat of what's where I've been, what's going on. I know you guys have been getting a lot of messages. And if you followed us on live with Maggie and myself, um, we, uh, I think it was two weeks, I don't even know, a week ago, two weeks ago. Um, my dad's been really sick. He's still in critical condition. So I've been to the hospital just about every day with family. And yeah, not a whole lot of time to create. So I, I do do a lot of fussy cutting in the ICU unit when it's not too noisy. I just made some envelopes. I just wanted to tell you, first of all, thank you for all the lovely comments, concern, prayers. Um, very... <laughs> Uh, needed um and if any of you guys are going through something terrible like this all i can tell you is try to stay focused um i do i bring fussy cutting i bring any folding paper anything to keep my hands busy it does help the mind it may be crooked it may you know i might throw it out after i don't know i might cut things off when i'm fussy cutting but um it does keep Keep you focused because I know there's a lot of bad things going on right now, and a lot of people have sickness in their families, and it's part of life. And you know, it sucks, but we have to deal with it. Um, stay hydrated, don't do something stupid. <laughs> Make sure you drink water because it doesn't, doesn't pan out too well. And try to eat, you know, your basic stuff. I know, you know, you're full of grief, or you're just you know, your head is spinning because they're telling you. You know, all these things, but um, hang in there. You're never alone. There's always somebody out there that's going to can hug you, even if it's from across the country. Um, so I'm really, hopefully, get back into crafting in a couple weeks. I can't wait to dive into Craftyville. My head's just not there yet. Um, um, what else? Oh, I have some Happy Meals that I have to... Um, a dress that are beautiful from the two Lisa's um, stamps I got from Christina Hill. I got to do them. There's a lot of things and I just don't want you guys to think I just took off because <laughs> I will be back and I will have, like I said, there was one day where I was, I went, <laughs> I went into my father's room cause I was going to demand answers and I seen him struggling and I ran out, I ran out crying like a baby. And I ended up in the quiet room and I, no kidding, I must have a fussy cut at least, I know I got over a hundred bows of Tina Shabby Tabby Doo Dots, those little, the bows that I like so much, they're all different colors. I never fussy cut, you thought I fussy cut fast before, wow, you should see me now. <laughs> but it's therapy and it, it helped me and it just... That's I really encourage you. If you guys are doing anything, make sure you bring something with you. Craft-wise or on the, anything wise, it really, really, um, it helps. So, I guess that's it for now. And, um, I think, and I'm going to check with Maggie. I think because we're kind of out of crafting, this is a good time. And Maggie, surprise. <laughs> I think this would be a great time to start a glue book because I was watching um, Tina Shabby Dabby Doo Doll last night. And a glue book would be a good way to start fresh. Um, so maybe our next live, um, if you want to get a um, check out some of the videos, get a, a big book ready, paint some pages, and cut out a bunch of stuff. Maybe rip out some stuff out of magazines. I think it'll be a really good way to... Just start fresh again. So, guys, that's it. I got to run. And God bless you all. Thank you so much. And we'll be back. Bye.